Hey guys, this won't be the most put together video you've ever seen in your life, but my name is Allison Kay and I just had a hysteroscopy, I believe it's called, um, with, mm, er, with metroplasty? Hysteroscopy, something like that. Hysteroscopy with metroplasty, I believe is what it's, it is. But anyway, um, I had surgery on my septate uterus to remove the septum and this is gonna get TMI real fast, so get off of this video if you don't wanna watch it, um, to be blunt, because it's gonna have a lot of information that you might not wanna hear. Um, my husband is outside mowing. I just thought I would record this, or start recording at least now while I can, because I'm going to remember the most right now. Um, so it is the day that I had the surgery, it is the evening that I had the surgery, um, or well, evening of the day, I saw my hospital bracelet on because I just thought, my husband was like, you can take that off. And I'm like, yeah, but just in case I need to go back in the next, like, you know, tonight or something, um, which hopefully won't happen. But if I had to, at least I already have my bracelet on. They can probably just scan me back in or something. Um, maybe that's not how it works. Who knows? But I got to the surgery center and I um, got all set up in the gown and all that stuff. And they put my IV in, which um, they had to do it twice. They didn't get it quite right the first time, I guess. Um, and that, this is so unprofessional, guys. Sorry, is that better? Not really at all. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, and then um, the anesthesiologist talked to me, my surgeons came out and talked to me, um, some of the other people came out, nurses and things, talked to me, um, and anyway, I, sorry, I feel like I need to figure out how to set up the camera right now, but um, I guess I'll just hold it. So, anyway, it all went really well, and then they, I said bye to my husband, they wheeled me back um, into the room, and then uh, it was so fast. I was so close to my surgery room from where I was. Anyway, just realized that. Um, but, yeah, and then they put a mask on me, and they... Well, they asked me a few questions, then they put the mask on me, had some oxygen coming through, and um, then they gave me the, the medicine, and I was so out of it so fast, <laughs> and I woke up, um, I was groggy, uh, they checked some things, and my doctor uh, came in and talked to me. I don't even remember really seeing her face at all anymore, I just remember talking to her, excuse me, very briefly, and she said, um, everything went really well but there were some complications and I have to have a second surgery. What? <laughs> so the plan was to go in for surgery, remove the septum and then be good and recover. Um, but that's not what happened. And I am learning that God has his own plan for me and my story. And, um, yeah, my doctor said that I was one of the most difficult cases she has ever dealt with. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? Oh my goodness. I am such a not that I was a bad patient, but that this was just a crazy circumstance. Um, so my husband and I don't fully understand it because when they explain things to him, he didn't really understand it completely. And it's just like female anatomy and whatever. It's just, it's hard to understand. Um, but, and don't make fun of me or him for saying that because we aren't medical professionals and they're using medical terms and they're, um, this isn't something that everyone has, you know? No, Not everyone has a septum, and like this is a very weird situation, okay? So anyway, we thought my septum went through my uterus, through my cervix, and stopped. Oh no, we thought it, that was it, but it goes down into my vagina as well. And so this video, if it were flaggable, it might get flagged for me saying that, but this is medical stuff, and I have a complete, very complete septate uterus, um, well had, so it took an hour and a half of, they had the saline in my system, in my uterus, but um, it took an hour and a half to be able to uh, do what they had to do. And I believe they had to like, they almost didn't do the surgery. She almost just stopped and said like, we can't do this. Um, but she tried for an hour and a half, my doctor did. And finally she was able to start the surgery, figured it out. Um, I believe the issue was that down at the very bottom of the opening of my um, septum area, they, you know, could get around one side, but not the other, I believe is what the issue was, if I understand, which I don't completely, um, but anyway, so they had a hard time with that, and they had to, um, 
it took them an hour and a half to do that. So by the time they were able to start surgery um, for real then, my body had absorbed a lot of the saline solution they had in me, and so they did not have enough time to do what they needed to do. So luckily, um, thankfully, they were able to get a lot of the septum removed today, um, but they do need to go in and remove the rest. And it's really disappointing and frustrating that I have to have a second surgery, and that's not what I wanted. Um, but it's what's for the best because I need to get this all removed. I need to get this all removed. And they just didn't have time to do it today. It's not safe. They can't just put more solution in there. They can't just keep going. And so um, it is dangerous to have your body absorbed a lot of that stuff. And so um, we're going to do it again. I'm going to heal up. They gave me some medicine. I'm on some hormonal supplements. And we are going to go in for another surgery and finish this right um, my dog is whining outside. I should go let her in. I've talked for six minutes already and I haven't even covered everything. It feels like there's so much to it. Um, but anyway, so I woke up. I was groggy. Um, when I fully came to, I definitely had some crampiness. Um, I think I told the lady it was like a four on the pain scale, but like of zero to 10 or one to 10 or whatever they do. I think it's zero to 10, but, um, it was like a, it was like a four, a three or a four, but, it was, I could tell it probably would get worse. And so um, they gave me some pain medicine, some pretty strong stuff, and it went away. And I felt so good, so fine for a long, long time. And I really haven't had too much pain or anything since then. Sorry, I have a pimple or something here. It is a pimple, I believe, not a cold sore, but it is there. Um, anyway, so um, they gave me that medicine, and I felt fine. They gave me some grape juice, and then they wanted to do a blood panel because I had absorbed those, um, they, there's where they poked me into the blood panel. <laughs> I had absorbed, um, that saline, so they want to check my electrolytes, my potassium, things like that. Um, and so then I was like, I'll have those cookies now, because she offered me cookies, and I was like, I'm not hungry, I'm fine. And then with that, I was like, you know what, that sounds good, and maybe a little, like, food and sugar in me would be good right now. So anyway, I did that. I had my cookies and my juice, and, um, they checked on me, and I went to the bathroom, and that was fine, and... Um, yeah, so I got discharged and came home and, um, I took another pain pill a little while ago, but I have been doing just fine and everything's all good. Um, I don't know if I want to film more right now or talk more or if I just want to call it good at seven and a half minutes here and say this is the video, but I had my septate uterus surgery. Number one, I need a second surgery and it's crazy that I need a second surgery, but I totally trust my doctors. Um, I think it's awesome that she... My main surgeon was so persistent in not giving up on me because um, this means so much to me and I'm so thankful and overwhelmed. Um, but yeah, I have a balloon up in my uterus right now. Um, I don't know exactly what they call it or what it is. I don't know if it's a Foley bulb. I don't know if it's a balloon catheter. That's what I've heard people call it before. I don't know what it is, but they kept calling it a balloon. It's up in my uterus <laughs> and they're going to remove that on Friday. Today is Tuesday. And then um, I am on a estrogen supplement. And then two weeks from today, I can start taking my, um, it's like a progesterone supplement, I believe. Um, I'll start that here in two weeks because that has to be inserted. So um, <laughs> nothing is allowed to do that for two weeks. So that's when I'll start that. And then um, I will have my surgery at the end of June. My next surgery, I believe, is going to be at the end of June. So that is my life. That is what happened. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down, leave them down below. I would love to do a Q&A about my first surgery experience, about my subject uterus, about anything you want to ask. Go ahead and ask it down in the comments below or um, direct message me on Instagram or something. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. God bless. What a wild journey this is. Check out all my other videos if you want to hear more about this kind of stuff. I have so many videos on my subject uterus. On my TT Sorry, I'm talking so fast. On my septate uterus and my TTC journey. There's all kinds of videos. Um, I have some acne right now. You can't wear makeup into surgery, and I'm not going to put makeup on just for this video. So anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye.